chicken queen and I'm going to show you how to do these um, very Halloweenish, very fallish nails. I call them like pumpkin ghost nails basically because that's what they are and they're gonna look different when I'm done because obviously it never looks the same but these are basically what they are. And I'm gonna show you what you need which is just some water, specifically a nail paintbrush, black nail polish which I got from Claire's. I don't know the brand because it wore off white nail polish my brand is called pure ice and I got it from Walmart then you're gonna need orange and green nail polish which mine are LA colors slash color craze which I both got from Walmart then what you're gonna need is a clear coat really doesn't matter the brand you can literally use whatever works for you but these are what work best for me nail polish remover if you had nail polish on before a q-tip and a cuticle thing, I don't know, brushes your cuticles back or whatever. A nail clipper and a filer, you're gonna need a filer. Some cotton balls, some tissues because obviously we all mess up sometimes, you know. And that is it. Now, obviously there's different ways to do these, so I'm gonna show you a couple alternatives. So if you don't want the alternatives, skip ahead until I'll, t I'll let you know when at the bottom like with the text but if you would like to hear some alternatives that's what I'm gonna go through now. For a more salmon-y look for your pumpkins you can use nail liquor it's called hot and spicy. I actually got this from a friend but it's like salmon and it's actually pretty nice but it kinda does make give it a more salmon-y look so I got different ones. And then if you want a like more mint greenish green for your pumpkins you can use this Revlon one it's called electric 580 so then we're gonna be doing ghosts too but if you're a little bit more blingy artsy person or whatever I would recommend using jewel slash sequences also I've noticed that the sinful color for white is like kind of thicker than the one I'm using so if you want thicker I guess I just don't like it when um my nail polish looks cakey I don't know if that's a thing but I think it does because it can look or goopy let's get into the tutorial okay so now I have washed my hands and taken off the nail polish for the most part I even like to leave a little on sometimes because then the orange is more vibrant but you know so now what I'm just gonna do is I'm actually not gonna cut my nails because they're actually a nice length and I like get them really long and they're not very long right now so I'm just gonna not cut them but I'm gonna file them and what I recommend is to file them in a circle like motion because obviously um ghosts kind of have a circular top to them and then pumpkins also are very circular obviously you can do whatever you want but I just recommend kind of a circular motion so that's what I'm gonna do right now alright so I filed my nails and yeah that's basically all the pre-preparation you need to do. So now I'm obviously just going to take the orange and paint all my nails until you think it's orange enough. Really, you can paint it as orange as you want. So of course, knowing me, I forgot two important things and I already painted my nails. But you take this cuticle pusher backer brush thing or whatever and you push back that I think that's called a cuticle whatever. I also forgot to mention that you're not going to paint your pinkies. Alright, so done painting my nails orange. So now what you're going to do is just take the pure ice and paint it on your pinkies. Alright guys, I have finished painting them and I went over with one end of a q-tip to clean it up a little bit, even though it's not perfectly clean, but for the most part it's really clean so that when you sh other people look at your nails they don't look like all messy. And now what I'm going to do is get out my trusty paintbrush. Then I'm going to take out a tissue and just like wet it because that gets it a bit more loose if you have other dry nail polish on it. Now that that's done, I'm going to take the pure ice and I'm going to go over with like little leaf like things
Now that that is done on all of them except my pinky, of course, I'm going to start on the ghost. So you're going to take your black nail polish from Claire's and put a dab on your paper. All right, so now that I got my dab, I'm just going to take my paintbrush from my nails, put plenty of them, and then I'm going to just make a face. You can make smiley, get scared, whatever. It's a ghost. You can have fun with it. Ta-da! <laughs> ghost. So now that you've done that one side, you're going to do the other side. And usually I always try to kind of make it different. You put green on it over the white. I guess you could just do multiple layers of the green, but I don't like to do that because it just takes a lot more time. So I just put white underneath it. So now we're just going to dab this in there as usual and just go over the white. Progress! <laughs> Finished guys, this is kind of, you're getting now the pumpkin and ghost look. You might have to re-go, you might have to touch up your ghosts and stuff when you're done, but right now I'm just letting everything dry, so this is kind of what it looks like. And then I'm going to go back to the black, and I'm going to take my paintbrush. You know what, you might just want to buy multiple paintbrushes, I mean, I have multiple, I just I didn't bring it out. If you want to, you can bring out multiple, but uh, I'm just using one for this. I just feel like it could be nicer. So I'm just gonna put it on here. And then I'm gonna do my faces. You can do pumpkin faces all over them. You can do them just on one. You can just do them on your thumb. I like to do them in the middle. Basically almost done. This is actually another one of my accidents that turned out to be really cool. I accidentally mixed some of the black in with the green and it made the leaves more look more realistic because it's almost like that shadows and like darker part of the leaves like normal leaves so don't wash off the black from previously using it just keep that in there and then take you can put it in the middle like me or you can um, put it over some of the leaves you already put down um, so basically I just built the entire thing of water so that was fun to clean up now I even got it on my computer but don't tell anyone that all you gotta do is just leave these out of the way and put a top coat all over all over it hey guys so this is the finished look thanks lots for watching if you would like to see more nail tutorials or any tutorials I can show you I just really like doing nails and even though I'm not the best at them I'd still like to share my ideas of course if you still have stuff on the edges like you um, mess them up like I used to do in the beginning you can always um, get a q-tip and stick it in your nail polish remover and just clean that up on the edges but basically yeah this is the finished look so thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz.